They whispered. They conspired. They told their lies. My character, my integrity, my faith in God would not fall, would not bend, won't be compromised. I speak life and prosperity, and I speak health because God favored me. Welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. I'm CJ. The Sun Belt Conference featured two key matchups last night as both teams had the exact identical record out of the conference and identical in conference record and each were looking for some separation as Louisiana Monroe matched up against Arkansas State and both teams got off to a nice start as Arkansas State took a 17 to 10 lead into halftime but in the second half Arkansas State poured it on as they went on to trounce tame and topple Louisiana Monroe 45 to 23 as Ryan Appling had 334 passing yards and two TDs and running back David Aku rushed for 131 ground pounding yards and not one and not two uh, but three TDs Major League Soccer was back in action last night as the playoffs roll on as DC United was pitted against the New York Red Bulls in their second leg and DC United shut out the Red Bulls 1-0 and in another second leg game Real Salt Lake was shut out by Seattle Sounders FC 1-0. For your MLB quick swings, Walt Weiss is making the rail jump from the high school dugout to the big leagues as the Colorado Rockies hired the former Major League shortstop Wednesday night to replace manager Jim Tracy who resigned October 7th. Infielder Maser Estures became the first Major League free agent this offseason to join a new team, agreeing Thursday to a $10 million three-year contract with the Toronto Blue Jays. Tino Martinez has been hired as a Miami Marlins hitting coach and will work with new manager Mike Redmond. And finally, the Pittsburgh Pirates have hired Bill Livesley as senior advisor to general manager Neil Huntington. For your NFL quick hits, Calvin Johnson said Thursday that he suffered nerve damage from hits suffered in the Detroit Lions' loss to the Minnesota Vikings in September, which has made it hard for him to grip the ball. Michael Vick assured reporters Wednesday that there will be no more Twitter outbursts about him or the Philadelphia Eagles from his brother, saying he told his brother Marcus to, quote, shut off the Twitter, close quote. For the second straight year, Detroit Lions defensive tackle Indomitian Sue has been voted the NFL's dirtiest player in a poll of players by the Sporting News. Um, congratulations? Nonetheless, comma Chicago Bears cornerback Charles Tillman tweeted Thursday that his wife will deliver their child on Monday so he'll be able to play Sunday night against the Houston Texans. And finally, 19-year-old David Michael Nenberg has pleaded no contest to involuntary manslaughter steaming from the heroin overdose death of the 18-year-old son of former NFL quarterback Eric Kramer and was immediately sentenced Thursday to five years of probation and 90 days of, of community service. If you have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cj at cjsports.com for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my innovative blog site cjsports.com and make sure you give me that follow on Twitter at cjsports and don't forget to like me on Facebook at cjact. That's C-E-E-J-A-Y. Stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality. <laughs> In your sports, I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a fabulous Friday.